Well, we all know what a hassle it can be jumping between Google Analytics and your WordPress dashboard, right? Well, having an Analytics dashboard in WordPress makes it a breeze to track your posts and page performance. That way you can make faster decisions for your business. Now, before we dive into all that, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss a Monster Insights video. So let's get started. Okay, the easiest way to set up your analytics dashboard is by using a plugin like Monster Insights. This is one of the top Google Analytics plugins for WordPress. It makes it super simple to get advanced tracking set up without any complicated technical work on your end. And all you have to do is just install the plugin, connect it to your Google Analytics account, and boom, it'll automatically create a full dashboard for you with all of your important website stats in one place, and there's no coding required. It's really a convenient way to stay on top of your site's performance and get all the insights that you need without having to dig through your analytics platform. All right, to get started, you'll need to download Monster Insights at the plus level or above on your computer and install it to WordPress, or you can get started for free for a basic stats dashboard. All right, then you'll need to connect your Google Analytics account with your WordPress site. Just takes a few clicks, super easy, but if you have trouble, be sure to check out our step-by-step -step guide to get up and running fast. All right, once you're all set up and connected with Google Analytics, well, you'll have access to your stats dashboard. And speaking of Google Analytics, be sure that you grab our free beginner's guide that demystifies GA4 and explains all the key reports and helps you to understand your site's traffic. All you have to do is just go to monsterinsights.com forward slash YTVIP to download your free copy. So next, you will want to head to Insights and then to the Add-ons page and then find the Page Insights add-on. And once you do, just click Install to activate it. Now you'll be able to see your stats for your individual WordPress posts and pages in several different places. Now to see the stats for individual posts, just head over to Posts and then to All Posts. Now it works the same way for pages, by the way. All right, once you're there, you're going to see an Insights column has been added to your WordPress post or page list. Just click on the Insights icon next to that post or page, and you're going to be able to see a report. So you'll see your entrances. That's a number of times users have entered your site through a specific blog post or page. The page views, that's a total number of views for that specific piece of content. The time on page, the average time users spent on that particular blog post or page. And the total users, which is the total number of users who viewed that piece of content. Now you can also see the stats for the posts and pages on the front end of your site when you're logged in. Just visit any page or post on your site and click the Insights option in the admin bar at the top of the page. This is going to open up stats for the last 30 days for your post or page, and you can view how many page views it got, the time on page, and the entrances and total users. Now, the last spot where you can see your stats is within the sidebar on your post or page editing screen. All you have to do is just scroll down Do you see the Show Page Insights button, and you can expand it so that you can see your stats for that post or page. It's so going to make it really easy to identify which posts and pages are doing well and which ones need optimization to boost user engagement and conversions. Of course, if you want to see your stats for individual posts and pages from your Google Analytics account, you just need to log into your account and then go to Reports and then to Engagement and then to Pages and Screens. Now, once you're there, you can see the stats for your individual pages and posts. Now you're going to see the top. 10 pages and posts, and if you want to view even more, all you have to do is click the pagination arrows. Now, if you're looking for a specific poster page, well, you can use the search option to look for a specific URL or set of pages that have the same word in the URL. Now, if you found this tutorial to be helpful on how to see your WordPress post and page views helpful, well, go ahead and smash that like button and hit subscribe for more tips on understanding your website's performance. Next up, you'll definitely want to check out this video where I show you how to optimize for the Google Featured Snippet Box.